I've come down to Lago de Ragonia today to talk about some of the inspiration behind the works in the Scottish Gallery's forthcoming exhibition, Contemporary. The Lago is around a two minute drive from my studio and home, new studio and home in Northern Italy, in the region of Friuli. I first came to the Lago around um, four years ago, it would have been uh, with my wife Sylvia. I painted one painting then and instantly knew it would be a place that I would return to. One of the first things that drew my attention when I came to the Lago were these poplar trees. They're not a crop that you see very much in Scotland, but they're quite numerous here in, here in Friuli. I can't remember exactly where the idea came from, but I wanted to do a little play on Matisse's very famous painting, The Dance. People in Friuli really pride themselves on being hardworking. It was one of the poorer regions of Italy until an earthquake devastated much of the region in the 1970s. The subsequent funding brought the region up in terms of wealth. When I first saw the poplar trees, something about their way they're planted suggested this idea of work, progress and order towards a goal. In Matisse's The Dance, he deals with ideas of hedonism, liberation, taking inspiration from primitive art, the rhythmic movement of the dancers in a circle is one that you can't forget once you've seen it. I wanted to do a little play on this to show another type of rhythm, one of order, which kind of encapsulates some of the character of the people here. It's another side of the human psyche, I guess. One of order, progress. Maybe of the mundane, or the mundane becoming sublime. I've moved round to the back of the Lago now. This is the view north to Monte Coir. Then more in the foreground here, the Monte di Ragonia. I don't know if you can make it out, but the white heart on the hill there was made by the people of Muris, one of the fractions of Ragonia. Here also is the sign that marks the start of Ragonia, 